Hold on a second, I'm finishing my last part of the video. dropping some gems for the ladies today okay now this I don't know exactly what I'm gonna title this yet but I really wanted to state something on going out alone I'm somebody that as a foodie as somebody who is kind of enjoys being social in the nightlife I like to go out a lot a lot and Sometimes, you know, as an adult, we all have different agendas and things to do. I don't always have friends that can go out with me. I don't let that stop me from going out. I'm going to be 27 years old this summer. And I feel like that's just too old to really need somebody to go out with you all the time. And I come across so many ladies that see me out and by myself and they're like, oh my God, how do you do this? And I figured that would be a perfect topic for a video. Now, first off, it's 2018. Why are we still scared to eat alone? Like, I feel like everybody's had to eat alone at some point, you know? And you know what, honestly, I can remember going to school, going to college, and people really, they always had a friend eating with them in the cafeteria. And I don't even know how that works because like, so, you know, if I'm hungry, I gotta wait for somebody else to eat. I gotta, like, no, I just, I'm not set up that way. And my schedule doesn't line up with everybody else's at the time to eat by myself. Like we all, you know, sure it's okay to eat at a desk by yourself. But I have people that actually ask me, how do you go out to restaurants eat by yourself? And I'm just like, just like other normal human beings do. A lot of these businessmen that I wound up running into at a large cafeteria downtown or at a hotel having happy hour, they're by themselves. So myself as a young professional woman, why should I be afraid to go and eat by myself? That's how I feel. But a lot of women have this fear. Like, what are you scared of? Like, people are going to judge you. Like, you don't get to be successful by caring what people think about you when they see you out like people who are not clients of yours people who are not paying bills of yours people who just don't matter what are you scared about what they think for and i think that's one thing like they're scared of being seen alone and looking like lonely and unapproachable but ladies like when you go out who's more approachable at the club the girl who's out with a group of girls partying and you might have that one cock blocking friend who's like uh uh girl don't talk to him versus you sitting at the club by yourself at the bar and you're you know just sitting and sipping your mimosa sipping your martini your henny your beer your cranberry juice Whatever your drink is of choice, you at the bar, you looking good, you just enjoying yourself, trying to unwind, not caring what nobody thinks. That's a woman with confidence. That's a woman that's like, look, I said I was going to have a good time. I'm going out. I'm going to have a good time. I'm independent. I'm going to have a good time. That's the type of woman that's very, very approachable at the club. Who's more approachable? The girl with that friend that's talking about everybody in the club or... The girl who's by herself, chilling, having a good time, so confident she doesn't give a damn what anybody thinks about her being at the club by herself. That's an approachable, per approachable person. And it's not just an approachable person to guys, but so I've met a lot of great girlfriends by going out by myself because hey, I decided one day I'm gonna go to brunch by myself. I'm just, you know, feel like getting dressed up and going out. I'm gonna do it, whatever. Ran into a group of girls that are like, oh, you're really cute. Come sit with us. What you doing for the rest of the day? Just like that, I made a group of girls like that. A lot of people that, when you're an attractive and confident person, and being attractive is not just physical, it starts within. When you have that kind of confidence, where you're like, I'm just going out to have a good time because this is what I do with my life. You know, if you invite yourself to be in it, you're cool. If not, I'm cool sitting by myself. 
that type of person is like, wow, they've got an aura about them that's like, it's hot. It's like, they don't need anybody. Which it's very attractive to friends and romantic relationships alike because it's like, that's somebody that, you know, being that cool outsider, it's always like a plus because it's like you're going against the grain. You're going against the grain of those people who are always needing somebody else to do something with them. They're like, what's going on in this person's life where they don't need anybody? That's somebody that comes off very self-sufficient. Somebody who comes off financially abundant. Somebody who comes off spiritually abundant. Somebody who obviously takes care of themselves. They're out here looking good. They're not looking like a leper. They're out here like, look, I'm just out here trying to have a good time if I meet somebody at zone. Like that's a really hot person. And you will naturally have people of that same vibration be attracted to you for business, for pleasure, for friendships and everything else. So going out by yourself, like it's really a plus more than a negative. Stop worrying about what everybody else thinks. There, okay, so there is always that safety precaution with ladies about going out by yourself. And me being somebody who's from a large city, um, one of the rough cities, you know, Chicago, South Side, uh, it's like I get a lot of that. I get a lot of questions about that. And of course, I'm auntie. I have to address that with everybody because I have had encounters where I could have easily been in an unsafe place or I, you know, um, I have had encounters where I could have been unsafe. Most of them were in downtown Chicago, not on the south side of Chicago. But it's very important that I, as somebody who does have that accumulated street smarts, shares what I know with the young women watching this. And I feel like one thing that you have to take precaution of, my first safety tip is to have intuition. Have a relationship with God. Have a relationship with your higher power. Because you are a soul with a body, not the other way around. And that soul does have intuition. Intuition is real. You can sit and argue with me in the YouTube comments about that and we can go. But I'm standing to tell you that there's intuition and you need to have that on point every time you leave out the house. You understand me? And how I do that is with the spirit of God and my spirit and it clears out things and it lets me know hey i'm in a situation that i don't need to be in hi you're in a place you have no business being in yes this person is somebody you don't need to talk to they might get you into trouble or they might be trouble in general and so if you have a clear clear spiritual relationship that will help you maneuver through the outside world a little bit more. A lot of people don't trust their gut. And there are a lot of instances I feel like as somebody who has lost friends and family who were young, I feel like, dang, you know, you knew you had no business being there. You knew you had no business being there and you were there and now you're not here. So that's why I feel the need to tell you that. Don't link up with people and just hang out with them right away it might take you a little bit more you know i have a good spirit of discernment or intuition but it might take you some time to fill out these people and whether they're good people don't be giving people your address and having them uber you home and you don't know if this is some kind of crazy stalker or serial killer always have enough money to take care of your own transportation to and from or and never get yourself sloppy drunk or doing drugs and trying drugs and things that you have no business trying or you are not experienced in trying and doing that, you don't know how you're gonna react. You have to keep your head on a swivel, so to speak, and keep your wits about you so that you don't put yourself in a situation that quite frankly, we talk about security here, it could cost you your life. Seriously, my ladies, I'm, that's why I felt called to say this to you because I love y'all. I love us for real. Like, I don't want you in a situation that could cost you your life. Keep your wits about you. When you put your drink down, people still put drugs in drinks. When you're out drinking, you're at the club, minding your business, looking good, 
riding solo, whatever, have you, even if you're with your girl, have your drink like this. If somebody try to tap something in your drink, you're going to see it. Don't allow people to bring a drink to you other than a bartender that you're watching. When you put your drink down, say you go to the bathroom and your, your drink's at the bar, anytime you put your drink down, I don't care how full it is, you put your drink down, you're done with it. Don't go back to that drink because people will mess with it. People can mess with it. I'm not saying will, but they can. And I hate to be the super skeptic because everybody in the world is not, you know, a drink tapper, but you have to keep your wits about you. And I have to tell my ladies this as a safety precaution because auntie loves you. She does. Everybody's not gonna be as advanced to go out by themselves or feel as comfortable going out by themselves, even if it's for networking events, which is so sad because it's like, that's something that can really boost your confidence and boost your, you know, your status out in this world. I know in Chicago, it's a very who knows who kind of place. So I feel like, the people who network, and I'm an introvert, so I'm not the best at networking, but the people who do, they have a big advantage. And I'd hate for you to miss out on opportunities like that because you're scared to go out alone. Now, my advice for people who are not ready to full-time go out and be loners, they have so many groups that you can join that will help you get to the, where you need to be, okay? For example, there's an app called Meetup and joining that group they had all kind of like social events and they've got minority events say you like to speak spanish and you want to practice spanish they've got a group for that hey i want to do that but not alone there's a group called that where people try restaurants together like join one of these groups pick a day and go out meet some new people they have facebook groups go out meet some new people Thanks to the modern internet age, it's so easy to meet people who have shared interests as you. You like to travel, you don't want to travel alone, you're not ready to travel alone. Do what I did. I there I had followed this lady on a group for a while, uh, Beige Fletcher, and she has a, a group called the Gold Group. And I said, oh, she's doing a birthday cruise. I said, I've never been on a cruise. I want to go to Jamaica and this is something I want to do. So I joined uh, her group and we went to the Cayman Islands. We actually couldn't go to Jamaica because it was so rocky. Like the captain couldn't land in a port. So we cruised, we were stuck on board for a day, but we made it to the Cayman. So I still have to go to Jamaica, but there's a travel group for that. But join a travel group. They've got plenty of travel groups online, plenty of minority, you know, black girls travel to groups or Jewish girls travel, whatever you want to do. There's a group for it. If you want to meet diverse women, they got diverse travel groups. If you want to travel in a couple, you and your man or your main squeeze or your home girl, whatever. They've got so many travel groups. There's so many groups you can join. There's no reason why you can't experience life how you're meant to experience it and how you feel like you want to experience it because you're scared because you're scared of doing things alone like i think that's a lot of us feel like we're more alone than we really are you're trapped on this planet with like billions of people like somebody has your shared experience as high or as low as it is somebody has a shared experience somebody has a shared interest as you and there's no reason why you should be afraid to act on it and that's what I wanted to give out to you I want you all to not be scared to live to your fullest potential because you've got this one life you are a soul in a body while your body is here and able and moving you should be living because we all gonna die you know what I mean how many funerals you need to go to for you to realize you're gonna die for you to live your life it doesn't take you that long to live your life and that's what the whole overall message is for this video for you all so I hope that I hope I hope that I inspire somebody to live their life and not be afraid to do the thing that they wanted to do because they're scared of how it looks they're scared to do it alone like you are never alone and God loves you and auntie loves you okay